we're gonna take the straight rhythm 250 bill. This is a factory engine. I did have to pick up some C12. It is so much fun. I will hit whoops, they'll sound cool. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are at the shop right now, but we're about to head out to the track, Wyvern Ranch specifically. And instead of taking out my 450 like I normally would, decided that we're gonna take the Straight Rhythm 250 build. This is an O2 250 that I built back in 2019. This was actually the year that I retired, so a lot of the parts on this bike are actually retirement presents from Honda, KYB, people like that that I worked with over the years. It's a very, very sentimental bike to me, so I don't love putting hours on it. It actually used to be in my living room. <laughs> but it is a fun bike to ride and it's just been sitting here for so long that I feel like I'm not doing it justice by letting it breathe every once in a while. This bike tore it down. Factory Honda gave me this engine. This was a factory engine out of their two stroke. I wanna say it was Ernesto Fonseca's engine. The forks were a gift from KYB. This is a factory set of forks. The shock is super rare on this bike. They only made for like a year, a year and a half when factory Honda was running KYB. When I found this shock, I actually found it on eBay and I sent it to my guy over at KYB and he was like shocked that it was even on there. So we picked that up, got it revalved, got it rebuilt and uh, it's all dialed in suspension engine so many parts of this bike just mean so much to me when i rode it at straight rhythm it didn't really run right we had issues with the carburetor i want to say i was running a kian i'm not sure what size or anything like that but only had like a week to try and dial it in after that electron actually sent me over one of their self-adjusting carburetors so we got that on there it's been working great i've only ridden it a couple times with it on there had no bogs no hesitation anything like that bike runs awesome so i'm gonna load them up my brother's gonna ride my 450 i'm gonna ride this go get some shots go spend some laps maybe do some jump hit some trails have a good time been hot out here in southern california it's like five o'clock right now so we gotta wait till the evening to ride right now. We'll load these things up and head out to the track. Sorry, I was being a bad influencer. I forgot to film a little time-lapse loading up. Both bikes are all strapped in, ready to go. I did have to pick up some C12. Electron suggested with this engine build and that carburetor set up to get C12 mixed with some Maxima K2, I think it is. That's pre-mix at 32 to one. I did fire it up before we got out there because I wanna make sure it still ran because it doesn't rain in like two years. Fired up like fifth kick, so we're dialed, ready to rock and roll. Let's get these things out to the track. All right, we had to make a quick pit stop over here at Thrashin. If you didn't catch the video from a couple weeks ago, we stopped over here, brought the ramp to 450, we did some channel gaps and stuff like that. Thank you guys for all the love on that video. Uh, another thing, wanted to grab a set of gloves, gonna grab these ones. I wore these when I was doing the channel gaps and I love them so much when I was riding, I think I'm gonna continue wearing them. I told Lance we need to do a Thrashin Sealy Speed Factory collab glove. So go hit him up on Instagram or on YouTube. Let him know we wanna see a glove. If you haven't tried these already, these are great for Moto too. All right, so we're pulling up to Wyvern right now. Originally, this place used to be Lance Quarry, who you guys saw a couple weeks ago. It used to be his training ground for freestyle, and then Red Bull came in and they revamped it like pretty crazy, and then they got kicked out by the city, actually. They had sat for five to six years and kind of got overgrown, and then Grant took it over, made the place pretty immaculate, kind of cleared all the weeds away, dialed it in, watered it. I think Tom Parsons might have come in and dialed in some of the free ride stuff. Basically, what it is is some freestyle. I think some of those ramps are actually still Lance's, and then free ride and then supercross track over here it's hard to see we'll show you guys a little later when i was practicing for a world supercross last year this is where i was getting a lot of my training in and the owner of the property actually started a supercross team back in like 2005 or 2006 so he built a house out here and the riders would stay out here train on the supercross track just like moto heaven supercross team closed down now we just got a bunch of land a bunch of places to ride and really thankful to grant for keeping the place in tip-top shape and allowing us to come up in some lap do some trail riding and hit some jumps he keeps it pretty dialed in so to pull up houses up there motocross tracks up on the left and then we got all these hills we'll uh do some riding then we'll do some trail riding go watch the sunset bring you guys along so you can't wait to fire this two-stroke up in some laps we'll get some footage <laughs>
I don't know how good that footage is gonna look because it's so dry and slippery, but it is so much fun. It's just so much like throttle control and like the jumps are steep and fun to scrub. And I mean, it's really dry. We're like in the middle of summer out here in California. So sun has definitely beat it up, but it's so much fun to ride this thing. This thing rips. I forgot how good, like a good tuned and crispy 250 sounds because this thing rips. It sounds so good. One thing that's a little tricky, I do have super cross suspension on this bike still. So riding it on a pretty rough and beat up outdoor track is not the best. Makes it feel even more slippery, but I'm having so much fun. So good, so fun to ride. I need to get this thing out more for sure. Like, I don't know, I felt so bad about riding it when I do because I get so much time on the engine and suspension and all the components. But at the same time, like I built this bike to ride. I just need to get it out of my head and get back on this bike, take it out to the hills. Pretty excited for this winter when the hills are good and I can get this thing back on some of the free ride stuff. Place is awesome. Like I said, this is the outdoor track. We got sprinklers and everything. Then we got the supercross track. You can kind of probably see it over there. Free rides even further up. Then the property goes all the way to the top of those mountains over there. I'll be right up there later. Watch the sunset. Just a good day to be out on the bike. You go get a drink, go get a snack, and then we'll uh, fire this thing up again. <laughs> I'm afraid to hit the ramp and the double, like the dirt to dirt double. He's just killing it out here. to hit a lot of stuff on supercross track because i haven't ridden a two-stroke in so long but i will hit whoops even though they're small they're still sound cool you got the suspension for it yeah at least i got that <laughs> out on a lot of the jumps down there. I think I need to get Lance out here to push me and make me do stuff like that. Haven't hit a ramp on a two stroke ever. Haven't hit a ramp in like two years and the super grass track was a little dusty. Still had some fun. We're uh, heading up to the top of one of these mountains. I think it's right up there. Got some of the guys heading up behind us. Grant's following us in the UTV. Got a chance on the 450. Go check out the sunset and enjoy the ride. <laughs>
right guys, we're gonna close it out here. Didn't get to film too much on the way down, but it's a good day. Good to get the straight rhythm 250 back out on the track, back on the hill, ripping again. I was kind of blown away by how fast the bike is, so I definitely want to get it out to the track. The problem is it has super cross suspension, so it makes it a little tricky. I think like LACR or somewhere smooth, like that would be nice. Try and get that thing out on the track again soon. The 94 250, we should have some updates next week, and then as well as the Elsinar. Thanks for tuning in. As always, we'll see you in the next one.